For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G.com. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 3 Staring at my carbon Kevlar Corvette drift car. So I've been wanting to get back into Horizon 3 So what better way to do it than take out my 711 horsepower Corvette drift car and uh, drift the Goliath. Figured I haven't drifted the Goliath before. I know I drifted the map before, but uh, why not run the Goliath circuit? No traffic, good weather, and uh, see how much we can drift, how long we can drift, if we can drift the whole thing. You know, what better way to get back into Horizon 3 drifting than to uh, basically punish myself with uh, non-stop drifting. So we're gonna head right into that. We're gonna get a Goliath race set up. I believe, uh, I have one not set up, the wheel cam turned on. So let's get uh, set up the event here. And uh, exhibition, edits. Um, current car, Chevy, Goliath, and then race settings, we're gonna do one lap. Early afternoon, clear, time progression fixed, confirm. And um, I know there's going to be other cars, but I'm not really going to worry about them. So, uh, other cars on the track, not too worried about them. So we're just going to create it, one lap. And uh, we are going to get set. So, drifting the Goliath, I know there's going to be other cars in here. I'm not too worried about them. I'll probably let them go. And then I will uh, start drifting sideways after I have a sip of my Corona here. I don't condone drinking and drifting. We're going to throw this over here so I don't knock it over. We got our handbrake set up. Logistic G920. Energy Innovation 350 wheel. Energy Innovations bucket seat. We may actually be able to beat these guys. Sideways, maybe. Probably not. We're going we're gonna to find out. Easy winning. Um, uh, no. So let's go. I might be able to beat them. Um, drifting. We're definitely gonna try. Probably not though. Once we get off this dirt, we're gonna start setting it. Okay, we'll set it now. In the sand, I've never really actually tried drifting the Goliath circuit. I know I've drifted the, the map before, or tried to anyways. But I figured why not try and drift the actual Goliath circuit. I said I'm not worried about position right now. We're just uh, here to get the skids going. Try and stay on course as much as we can. I mean, if we do beat them, then that's even better. But I just want to get off this dirt. This car is not really good on dirt. There we go. Now that we are off the dirt, we can... Uh, race our way up to some turns. Get a little airborne through there, holy crap. Whoop. I was worried I was gonna hit that. I thought we were gonna hit the, the palm tree. Somehow we saved that. We are on 900 degrees of rotation, so this is uh, pretty interesting. And I haven't been on Horizon 3 in a while, so... Oh, don't hit the tree! I'm gonna try to keep this as clean as possible. So, I do apologize if my drifting is a little lax right now in here. It's been a while since I've been on Horizon 3, but... What better way to come back than punish ourselves in a Goliath drifting session? Probably should have tuned these gears a little bit better. And we're dead. <laughs> I didn't want to kill ourselves, and we're dead. So, this Goliath Drift session, not starting off the best, but uh, it is fun to be back here in Horizon 3. 
And I threw that a little bit harder than I wanted to. So, not how I wanted it to turn out. But I am only human, so... And I haven't been to Horizon 3. I've been doing a lot of, uh, Forza 7 and Assetto, so... You have to bear with me a little bit on this. Physics, a lot different. That was a little bit better. I do like these uh, little high-speed sections. Okay, we go right on the edge. Almost zero steered that turn, too. I always go off that bridge in Goliath racing. I don't know why. It's like my kryptonite is that section. Probably could choose a different car, but I figured this car would be pretty good for some of the high-speed stuff. And it's uh, handling really well. I haven't uh, driven this car much, so definitely, uh, definitely a different, different thing. There we go. Ooh. Trying to link this as much as I can. This car handles so nice at higher speeds, so definitely chose a good car for this. Here, definitely coming into a nice SE section that we're gonna have to uh, deal with. Adjust my mic a little bit. Kick it in. Long we break that one. I don't think I'm gonna have the power to kick it out. Nope. The downshift to fourth. I know we're going to get to go through one of the drift sections in this Goliath race, but... Oh! We're dead. So we died twice. Uh, luckily, I don't believe I have some damage on. I believe it's only cosmetic, because otherwise this would be a very bad time. But this Corvette does have a lot of speed. And a lot of lateral grip. And a lot of wheel spin. It's very good in uh, low speed sections too, but... I feel like once we get out of these high speed drift sections... My drifting will be a lot better, I guess? There we go. Using all the road. Doesn't like to just clutch kick at this high rate of speed, so that's why I gotta yank the handbrake a little bit. I don't think we're gonna do a 6 gear entry. We might, though. I thought I could cheat that with the e-brake. We did kind of cheat it a little bit. <laughs> but we're still, uh, still got a long way to go. This is a lot of drifting, though. And this is definitely gonna be a very high speed turn if I can get it right. Just a tap on the flag, hold that. <laughs> Just a flag tap. Oh, that was uh, straight 90. Uh, this car cannot catch itself like that all the time. Uh, I thought I was actually going to lose it. Wrong button. But uh, we did. We don't have mirrors. Well, we don't really need mirrors. That car's down low. I think this is uh, going to be that little bridge jump. I haven't driven this Goliath circuit forever. 200 miles an hour. Uh, are we going to be doing a 200 mile an hour handbrake? I think we are. This is going to be sketchy. We're going to try and do a 200 mile an hour handbrake into this S section. This is going to be pretty sketchy, but we, we should be good. Oh, we're going to be doing a 200 mile an hour entry into this one. We got a force of thought, though. I got distracted by force of thons. Apparently, we're getting achievements. There we go. 
Now we're getting into some of the drifty sections. The, the achievements kind of distracted me a little bit. I kind of lost my focus. I was trying to see what the achievements were. I'm going to have to uh, go back and check what achievements these were because I really couldn't pay attention. Ooh, that was nice. Tried not to grab the handbrake with that one. Oh, this is gonna turn out bad. Maybe not. Somehow managed to save that one. I have no idea how. But we're good. Whew. Kick it in, there we go. Brake change. And that's some rotation that this car cannot do. Whew. So, abusing myself back into Forza Horizon 3. Definitely going to be doing a lot more in Horizon 3. Definitely miss this. Going to be getting some slides with some uh, old friends who I used to get doors with here in Horizon 3. As well as we're going to probably uh, do some Forza Thons and stuff because I do miss doing. The Forza Thons in Horizon 3. We got it. What did we... We're getting all of these achievements. So apparently, I'm just completing the Forza Thon as I'm talking about doing the Forza Thons. And getting stuff. And I didn't even look what the Forza Thons were. So... We're completing the Forza Thon while just... Having a fun time drifting the Goliath. That was nice. That was a nice section. Let's see if we can link this. And there's another one. <laughs> so these are just rare achievements. These aren't even, like, I don't think these are uh, Forzathon achievements. I'm just racking in achievements. And I didn't even think, well, so this is an achievement episode for sure. We're gonna hit that wall. That was not just a tap. So we're getting a lot of achievements, forcing ourselves back into drifting here in Horizon 3. Having a lot of fun doing it. Oh, I thought I was gonna overshoot that. Just a little Goliath drift session. We've died twice. We've hit a lot of walls, but uh, hasn't been that bad. I mean, my drifting hasn't been too horrible. I wanted to run the sidewalk line, but kind of uh, got screwed up there, so we are still good, but we are almost done with this Goliath, I think. We got a little bit more to go and some more turns to make, but uh, we are pretty much done. I don't know how many more drifty turns there are. Like I said, I haven't done, been in a Goliath race in forever. That was some massive oversteer. Or understeer, sorry. I mean, we're not too far off them, but we are really far off them. 200 mile an hour entry. Straightened up, but we're gonna... Oh, boy. That turn always comes up and gets me, even when I'm trying to race the Goliath. Little, little curb line. Little tree tap. A little better if I would have stayed on the road, but at least we got a tree tap. And it was a tree that I actually could give, so. So, I guess, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on Forza Horizon 3. I will be doing more Horizon 3 getting back into drifting and racing and doing Forza Thon and such in Horizon 3, as well as the normal Forza 7. Um, I am looking possibly to do a formula drift build on a supercar here in the near future with that Ferrari at Road Atlanta this weekend. So Road Atlanta Pro 2 is qualifying and such as today. And we got all the pro event and everything going on this weekend. Definitely watching Road Atlanta as well as getting myself prepped 
for Road Atlanta round two of ESDA. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, get a good qualifying and maybe qualify in for the event. So hopefully uh, that will happen and hopefully I can get, you know, tag a decent qualifying run and uh, get into the head-to-head -head battles. Don't hit that. It would be nice. Road Atlanta is a fun course. Been making some minor changes to the ESDA Camaro. That road's extra. So, livery and everything's the same, but I've changed the wheels up, weight, power, and such, tire uh, grip levels. So, we are definitely changing a lot on that car a little bit to get it ready for Road Atlanta. So, look forward to seeing Road Atlanta content coming to the channel, as well as other content coming soon. I'm getting, this is a lot of drifting. I, I totally forgot how tired your arms get with doing drifting in a Goliath. I don't think I've ever really drifted a full Goliath, but we're going to hit the old lady's house. Nope, we're going to hit the train. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 3. I've uh, made a shamble of this car. This car would be completely destroyed if this is a real car. I'd be dead three times over. But as you guys know, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Hold tap. Not enough power. I really wish I had more power. I kind of want to bring out the, uh, the Hoonicorn and rip the Hoonicorn through a Goliath. All-wheel drive slides. If you guys want to see the Hoonicorn on the Goliath, let me know down in the comment section down below. I may actually do it just for fun. But uh, 1200 horsepower, all wheel drive, unicorn, and the Goliath. Sounds like a good time. So, until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and we're about to go on to the beach. Just tap. We're gonna send it. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs>